If you're on a VIOP plan, you can purchase inbound numbers and set up voicemail greetings and voicemail drops. First, be sure that your dialer is active. You'll need it on to answer the verification calls you'll get in this step. Let's go to Settings, Phone Dialer. Make sure that you've done the basic setup, like activate click to call and call recording. Save any changes you make. Now go to Phone Numbers. You'll see the pricing information on the right, $2 per local line per month and $3 toll-free number per month. Please note the toll-free minute calculation details. Let's search for a 917 number. I'll type 917 into the area code. Hit Search Phone Numbers. Look at the search results. Purchase one that looks good to you. Confirm the purchase by hitting OK. Now let's look for a 310 number. When I search, no results are found. Numbers open up all the time, so if you don't see an option for the area code you want, either use another nearby area code or check back the next day for more options. If there's really a specific one that you want and you don't see it, submit a tech ticket to us with the area code you're interested in and we'll contact the carrier. Let's search for 323. Purchase. Now let's go to caller ID and make sure it's set up properly. You can add in other numbers that are not purchased phone numbers here as well, but let's set up our purchased numbers. Grab a number that you've purchased, copy, go to the caller ID tab, paste it into the valid phone number field. You can give it a nickname like main office. In area code recognition, we can paste in area codes. Then, if one of those area codes is dialed, this is the number that will be used as the caller ID. But since this is the main number, I'll leave it blank. Now we'll need to click Verify Phone Number. Answer the call. Click on the keypad icon to type in the verification Hello. number. Enter your six-digit validation code. You'll be told that the number is now verified and it will hang up. You have successfully validated your phone number. You may now use 132379626646 for your caller ID on outgoing phone calls. Goodbye. Now you can set it as the caller ID, and now it will be the active caller ID. If you add in other numbers into the system, you can define when they'll be used either by area code recognition, by agent, or by team grouping, and so on. But the number listed as active caller ID will be the default. Now let's go to the voicemail greetings. We have several options to get recordings in here. Call to record, upload mp3, and text to voice. Let's do call to record. Call the number you see in your voicemail greetings. Hit the keypad icon. When it prompts you to, enter the code Thank followed by the pound Radius key. Voice mail recording service. Please enter your code followed by the pound key. Speak after the beep and hit pound when done. Please leave a message at the beep. Press the pound key or hang up when finished. Hi, this is Danielle at Radius. I just wanted to check in and see if you reviewed your quote yet. Please let me know if I can be of any help. My number is... Thank you. Your recording will be available in your account shortly. While those process, let's upload an MP3. You have to use the MP3 format. No other file type is allowed. Name the recording, then upload the MP3. You can also add text-to-speech. It sounds artificial, so it's not my favorite option here, but for things like this call may be recorded and such, it's useful. So name it, type in the text, and click Add Greeting. Click Edit to name the voice message.
Determine if you want to show it in the voicemail drop list or not. Determine if you want all users to see it in the voicemail drop or only specific agents. Save. You can assign recordings to phone numbers. Go to Phone Numbers. Click Edit. Select the welcome greeting, such as Call May Be Recorded, and the voice message you want them to hear if you don't pick up, such as Personal Voice Message. You can set voice messages that you receive to be sent to your email or multiple email addresses. Put a comma in between the addresses. You can set call forwarding if this is a number that's assigned to a specific agent. If you try to do call forwarding for a number that's assigned to everyone, it will give you an error message. You can also set this number as the default SMS message display number. Save any changes. Let's see how we can utilize these as voicemail drops. Initiate a call. If you get an answering machine, Hi, click Leave Radius. Voicemail. Please leave a message with your name, Choose the message. number, and what you're calling in regard to, and one of our team members will get back to you in the order you Hit drop after the beep. To reach all you can also personalize line, the message. Submit a ticket using Wait the till the beep, then say, Hi, account. Steve. Then Thanks drop the rest of the message. Hi, Steve. You'll get a notice saying that it was successfully dropped.